when you're talking about mitochondrial disease, you're talking about a large category of disorders where there's been hundreds that have been described so far, and there's probably thousands or even tens of thousands that have not yet been described. The mitoproteome consists of about 1,100 genes. Only 37 of those genes are encoded by the mitochondrial DNA. The, all the rest of the genes are encoded by the nucleus. They were the genes of the bacterium that two billion years ago, until the present, got moved over to the nucleus. So they're involved in energy metabolism. They code for proteins which move to the mitochondria and are important in the energy machinery. Any two people in this audience that are not closely related, such as mother and child, are going to have different mitochondrial DNA sequences because the mutation rate is so high. There are 1,100 genes that operate inside the mitochondria whose DNA has long since moved to the nucleus. And those genes also are important in terms of mitochondrial disease. So in addition to sequencing the entire mitochondrial DNA and differentiating what few abnormalities there are among a very large number of changes which are just different between individuals, there is 1,100 genes to sequence. So there's several million nucleotides that need to be looked at in order to make a diagnosis of mitochondrial disease in, in many cases. The mitochondrial DNA itself has only 37 genes, but because it operates under bacterial principles, it has a very high mutation rate.